to the game. Hey, and welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're doing Battletech. Um, we have a Battlemaster, what we see on the screen, they come gray, and by the time we're done, we want them to look like this. Uh, we're gonna use contrast paints, basically it's really three colors, um, and we're gonna get them tabletop ready in a very quick, short amount of time. These videos are really geared towards the new painters or people who just need to get something done quickly. Um, like I said, these models are fantastic. If you want to go into massive details, there are some great tutorials, uh, some great videos, things like that um, out on the net. Um, this just happens to be the weekend right before Gen Con and we're doing a Gen Con at home thing and I needed to get two battle forces painted up in a record amount, you know, record time. So we're going simple um, for a big Alpha Strike battle. Um, so here we go. Um, we're going to use Blood Angels Red and then Black Templar and Gunmetal. These are our three colors. Um, we could go more. Um, you know, caveat, I did not do the windshields. Um, I, they're black. Uh, eventually I'll go back and I'll do the windshields and probably do something with the bases as well. But really just decided that, hey, we're going to keep it simple. Uh, again, needed to get two forces done, 600 points total, 18 models total um, for our Alpha Strike game, which is coming up later in the week. Needed to get these done. So, uh, here it is. So we got the red contrast paint. We're just going all over the model. Be very, very... Uh, you don't want to miss anything. Uh, covering it back up is difficult. Uh, with the contrast paint so normally you see me doing very carefully where i'm using the contrast paint sparingly and i'm using them like a paint this is really what the contrast paints were designed for it's just smear them on there let it get into all the cracks and crevices let it dry and work its magic and that's really what we're going to do here we're going to let the contrast paints do what they were designed to do um, we're then going to come back we'll do the windshields black as you saw we'll do the weapons black and and gray or the gunmetal um, and then we'll do the base black and it'll all look pretty good in the end for, you know, tabletop quality. Like I said, we're trying to get them done quickly. Anyway, I've said that several times. Um, we're going to go through this, uh, pretty quick. Um, uh, but you can see when you're doing the contrast paints, you really have to force it into all the cracks and crevices. What I have noticed with contrast is when you're putting it on big areas, it, with, it pulls back, um, and we'll actually leave white spots or gray, the, the, under, the undercoat. Um, and it's very difficult to go back and get those touched up just right without having to redo the entire panel. Um, so when you're smearing it on, you know, and I say smearing it because it's really kind of what we're doing. But when you're painting it all over the model, make sure you're carefully checking. Did you get every crack and crevice? You, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll paint something, you swear you're done. By the time you get back to it, you're like, it's, you can see the primer. You're like, man, what happened? Um, I don't know if anybody else has run into that problem. Maybe it's just me. could be. Um, so, you know, we just want to make sure you get it all over the model, all the way around. Uh, this particular video, we're going to show you. I'm just painting this one, but, you know, as you saw, we did all nine models exactly the same. So I'm going to shut up, let the music kick in, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, now that we have the red done and it's dried, uh, we're going to do the black. Uh, like I said, we're going to do the weapons in black and a couple of spots here and there on the models just to kind of break up the, the red. Uh, 
that's predominant. But you can see with the contrast paint, your highlighting is pretty much done. Uh, yeah, you're not going to win any awards, but, you know, it does a good job. Tabletop quality, and it's all I go for. Uh, like I said, just try to get something on the table quickly. Paint it. It looks great. It looks cool. If people criticize your paint job, they're not your friends, so don't worry about it. Um, so anyway, um, again, just paint the joints black. We'll come back and we'll dry brush those with a little bit of silver. I paint usually the hands, uh, the fingers I usually cover in black. Um, this is actually the first Battletech models I have ever painted, believe it or not. Um, it's probably easy to believe. Uh, but they were a lot of fun. I mean, they're just great. I, I'm actually thinking about getting another box of a game of armored combat just to get these mechs again and paint them in a different color uh these plastic models are great i did put some of the metal models together and oh boy depending on which ones you get there's a lot of pieces to those models uh i'm thinking the timberwolf myself in a hellacious amount of parts for that model um but this was the first one i've ever actually painted uh, i mean these were a lot of fun uh they actually take paint very well. They're just, you know, I don't have a massive imagination for, hey, what could I do this? So I looked in the source books, looked to see what I could find, found one I liked, kind of painted. It's kind of a Draconis Combine coloring scheme, I think. Um, but whatever. I'm going to shut up and let the music kick in. has dried it's time for the gunmetal gunmetal we're going to put in with a dry brush dry brush is a stiff brush you're going to load it with paint and you're going to wipe most of it off on a paper towel um, and then you're going to lightly go over everything just to pick up the highlights um, so as you can see here I'm dry brushing and I actually dry brush the whole model just to kind of give it a metal sheen um, these guys have seen some battles so they're not pristine uh, so that metal kind of help show, make it look like they've got some scrapes and stuff, but still not detract from the overall uh, coloring of the model. The weapons and stuff I dry brushed a little heavier because I really wanted those to kind of have a, a metal, a metallic look and feel. Um, then it's back to the Black Templar to do the bases. Um, and be very careful around the feet. You don't want to mess up all the work you've just done. Um, I use my ghost brush for this. And uh, some pretty great brushes. I use it a lot. But it does a good job. Holding the model. Let the model uh, give it a good base coat. Like I said, at some point I'll come back and I'll do something with these bases. But... Speed was the order of the day. All right, and with that, he is complete. Um, like I said, it's a very simple but effective paint job. Um, these look pretty good. And when you get the whole force together, it really, uh, it really looks looks pretty great. Um, again, it was three colors: red, black, gunmetal. Uh, simple and straightforward. Did not take long at all. Um, anyway, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, better coloring scheme. If you got a better idea, try to keep it simple. Um, I'm gonna paint more of these. These were fun. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. And uh, have a great day.